will be doing grassland as my ecosystem. like what are some facts about the grasslands? Well, well little known fact about the grasslands, they are um, they go by many names. Another well known fact is the organisms that live in the grasslands are losing their territory due to habitat loss and humans building around the grasslands. However, some nature reserves are sa are saving these beautiful places, such as uh, Yellowstone has beautiful fields and Yosemite as well. Grasslands are an amazing place for for animal for animals of all types. Now you may be wondering what a grassland is exactly. A grassland is an open sunny field that is an open grassy sunny field. Now that that question's out of the way, I know some of you are wondering, why am I saying all this stuff? Why are, why are there so many organisms in the grasslands? Well, some have to adapt from other areas, such as some animals, such as the elephants, and other and others have to adapt from the jungle to the grasslands because the jungles are being cut down. So that grassland and the grasslands are another safe place for them. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michael Ackman, and I'm going to tell you about the ocean ecosystem. The ocean is made out of salt water. There are five oceans: the Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic, Southern, and Indian Oceans. The creatures in the ocean are saltwater creatures. Freshwater creatures like a goldfish cannot live in the ocean. There are sandbars on the bottom of the ocean which help seaweed and plants grow. The animals that eat sea the seaweed and plants is the plankton and smaller creatures. It, the animal that eats the plankton or smaller creatures is a crab or starfish. The animal that eats the crab is the tuna. The animal that eats the tuna is the shark. Finally, Killer whale or orca eats the shark. The largest animal in the world is the blue whale, which lives in the ocean. It is as long as two school buses. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michelle. My ecosystem is coral reef. Some or some known organisms <coughs> are are crab, shrimp, angelfish. some characteristics. Corals are not animals. They're, they are, corals are not plants. They are animals. There are five million. The first coral to be found were about five million years ago. Hi, my name is Idalis Enriquez, and the ecosystem that I have chosen was coral reef. Cor coral reef is made out of colonies of plankton. No, polyps. Coral, co there is so many.
many different types of coral, and each species has a different shape and color. When a coral is in danger, it reacts, into, it reacts by going into its cup for protection. Since there are so many different types of coral, they are called the cities of the sea. Even though coral is small, they are incredible builders. Cor corals are not just predators, they are also prey. Coral turns white as it dies, and when the coral is the coral is one of the organisms in the in the in the sea and they have they eat plankton which are tiny organisms that float around in the sea they the coral use their tentacles to eat the plankton unfortunately coral reefs are endangered and we need to help them by stopping global warming thank you my name is Talon, and my ecosystem is coral reef. Um, there are many organisms here. Some of the organisms are clownfish, sea turtles, sea anemones, and crabs. Uh, some corals are used to make medicine. of jellyfish and anemones. Sometimes they are called the rainforest of the sea. They are usually between water that is 68 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. My name is Emerald Pearson, and today I'm going to talk about my chosen ecosystem, the coral reef. What is a coral? A coral is a simply made creature with only a few layers of tissue, like skin, for example. What is coral made of? As I said before, the coral that we see today is hard, not like it has few, a few layers of tissue. So it gathers all the calcium from the warm ocean water to create a hard like shell. What does it do and why is it important? It is important and it does clear the CO2 from the air, which is carbon dioxide and makes it into oxygen. Where are coral reefs usually found? Coral reefs are usually found in clear, warm, ocean and tropical water. What is symbiosis? Symbiosis is where two or more organisms work together to help one, all, or both, of, or just some of the organism. I am talking about symbiosis because my diorama shows symbiosis. The symbiosis is with the creatures and the coral. The coral can hide predators and prey. For example, say the stingray is a predator of the crab. The stingray can hide behind this coral, and when the prey comes, it can grab it for food. And also, the opposite way around. The prey can hide so the predators don't eat them. What types of coral are shown this is a pencil coral. This is an ivory coral tree, finger coral, fan coral, and brain coral. If we get a
come around, maybe you can see the two pictures on top of the my diorama while I, that I took in Hawaii with my underwater camera. There is a picture of a real brain coral and a close-up of it, if you can't see it that good. Two fun facts about my coral reef is that the biggest coral reef is in Australia and it is called the Great Barrier Reef. There are also three types of coral. There are barrier, fringing, and atoll, A-T-O-L-L. Also, astronauts can see the Great Barrier Reef from space. Also, if we can look around at my diorama, I have a chart of fish from the Hawaiian Coral Reef. And there is a coral shown in my diorama that is on the chart. What can we do to help coral reefs? As I read, coral reefs are bleaching. This is what a coral reef after it's done bleaching, which means it dies. So we need to help coral reefs. With these, we can use three simple steps. One, you can use biodegradable products. Biodegradable means that it can break down into nature itself. Two, is conserve water. Conserve means to save, so that reduces the sewage that goes into the ocean. Lastly, step three. Whew. Pick up trash that can harm any living organism. Thank you. We're sharing about the oceans and their organisms. Some of the subject, here are the subjects I will be sharing about. Characteristics, organisms, and, and fun facts. Some organisms that live in the minimum sea level are sharks, dolphins, turtles, and stingrays. Some of them live, some organisms that live on the ocean floor are crabs and lobsters. The ones, here are some that go in the ocean but live on land. Seals, seals and sea lions. Now here are the ones that live in the deeper part of the oceans. Octopus and eels. Now I will be sharing about the characteristics of the ocean. The ocean has salty water, not fresh water. <coughs> the, the oceans cover 70% of the earth. The Pacific Ocean covers 30% of the Earth. Some of the, some of the, another part of the characteristics are, in the minimum sea level, um, there's a lot of action, meaning lots of co consumers eat producers to give energy for the consumer. Some of the characteris more characteristics are the water is not only not only protects a lot of the sea animals from dying, it helps them to where they don't die. Some fun facts is Amelia E. Hart was the first female to fly a plane over the Pacific Ocean. In the Atlantic Ocean, well the Arctic Ocean, it was almost, in winter, it was almost covered with ice. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. most colorful and diverse ecosystem. There are many organisms in my ecosystem, such as clams, sea turtles, jellyfish, clownfish, and shrimp. Some large predators are shark, groupers, and barracudas. Some organisms hide in many caves from predators. Organis coral reefs organisms
doesn't eat algae. Coral reefs organisms are very vibrant. Coral reef is shallow. It is found in most tropical areas. It is 70 to 80 degrees. It has a massive structure. It is made from millions of tiny coral polyps. Some corals are made to make medication. The medications help prevent cancer and illness. Coral reef is a community. Any reef is called a barrier. Did you know if one kilometer of a coral is destroyed, the loss is between $137,000 to $1,200,000. Some, some organisms that I have in my ecosystem are pufferfish, electric eel, uh, yellow octopus, a animon, a sea turtle, stingray, a grouper, a nurse shark, a salmon, a clam, and a sea, a sea, a purple sea urchin. I chose the coral reef ecosystem. Here are some organisms that live in the coral reef ecosystem. One organism is a crab. Other organisms are black tip sharks, blowfish, angel sharks, clams, jellyfish, and coral. Sea cucumbers and uh, oysters are also part of the coral reef ecosystem. Some characteristics of the coral reef is that they are shallow and can be can be found in um, warm, clear, tropical oceans. They are also massive and uh, they need sunlight to survive. Some fun facts about my coral reef ecosystem is that they are not plants, they're animals. And they rely on photosynthesis to survive. They are used for medications to treat cancer and human bacterial infections. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alejandra, and my ecosystem is the ocean. Did you know 70% of the ocean is covered with 70% um, of the ocean is covered by water? There are five um, types of ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the uh, Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the is 
section four. Some organisms of the coral reef are jellyfish, sea stars, crabs, fish, and coral. Coral reef coral reefs are very colorful. Coral reefs can be any color and shape. Coral reefs are usually found in tropical regions on the globe and could be in deep or shallow water. One, char one, some, one characteristic of a coral reef are that, is that they're very colorful. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jimena Arenas and today I'm going to tell you some, some facts about the rainforest ecosystem. Did you know that the rainforest that there are not many rainforests. Long ago, the percentage of the, the percentage of rainforests was, were covering 14% of the earth, and now they're only covering 6%. Scientists say that if there are no that they, if there is no rainforest, there can that the, that the species who live there can be endangered and can com become extinct. Some of the medications you drink or take are from the rainforest. Did you know that the rainforest is the oldest living ecosystem on, in the world? There are three different parts of the rainforest. There is the canopy, the understory and the forest floor. Now I'm going to move on to organisms. There are birds, there are birds, trees, plants, birds, and many more. The most important organism is the plants and trees. The trees provide oxygen for the animals and it's also shelter to some animals like the bird. The plants, some, some <coughs> organisms who live in the rainforest eat plants like and it can also it gets energy and oxygen I'm moving now I'm going to tell you some characteristics the, the rainforest is very beautiful as you can see
trees are cut down and the rain falls. Some pine trees can grow up to oh no. Some pine trees can live up to two thousand years. I was, now I wanna share some organisms. Some organisms are um, gorillas, jaguars, um, hummingbirds. ecosystem is the for the the forest and there some organisms in the in the forest are jaguars tigers monkeys Elephants. The rainforest gets 100 inches of rain each year. And the the largest the largest rainforest is the Amazon. I'm dead. My name is Ruby Flynn. My ecosystem is the desert. Some fat, some um, animals that live in the desert are snakes, scorpions, and many more. You, there is Two people, two, two people that come and look at the rainforest. Um, I mean the desert. There is. Um, oh, you guys can find fossils in the rainforest, such as animals that die in the rainforest. I mean in the desert. <laughs> People that live in the desert have to dig for water and they drink, or animals, they drink water from digging. I'm done. Uh, uh, my name is Kamoya Frazier and like I chose the desert for my ecosystem and uh, oh um the desert the desert receives ten inches of rain a year and a de desert also deserts are very hot and it only cools down at nighttime. Um uh, uh, some deserts are found across the northern and southern hemispheres. Uh, so 
animals that are in the desert are road runners, elephants, cactus, I mean not cactus, cheetahs, and animals such as cheetahs and lions have to, since they're not humans, they have to um, ride on other animals like elephants or buffoon. Done. system out of all the ecosystems. Um, the characteristics is penguins, polar bears, and foxes, birds, and then um, Organisms that live in tundra: snowy owls, penguins, Arctic foxes, polar bears, and so forth. Here are some characteristics about tundra. There is no tree. There is no tree, but this tiny bush. Tundra when it's winter. This is tundra when it's spring. And here's the tundra food web. I'm done. So my name is Hello Sailor and I'm gonna talk about lizards. One third of the planet is covered with deserts and places.
places that have ice or snow or could sometimes be called cold deserts and compared to hot areas like a hot desert um, the the largest cold desert in the world is in Antarctica the largest hot desert in the world is in in South Africa called the Shadow Desert and it's it is 100 degree during the temperature of a desert during day is 100 degrees fair um, greater 100 degrees and more the least amount of temperature in during night is tw 20 tw 24 degrees fahrenheit the um, other large deserts in the world such as the gobi desert the great victoria the The, that's those are one those are the one of those are one of the biggest deserts in the world and